Good afternoon, all you lovely people. Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more RimWorld. Uh, Going to be starting up with uh, Alpha 7 here today. Yes, just like we thought. Uh, we, I knew once we were done our series that we were getting really close to the release of uh, Alpha 7. So uh, we're skipping over Alpha 6, which we kind of just explored lightly last time, and we're popping on over to Alpha 7. Oh, yeah. Now, I may modify this thing later, but for now, we're just going to explore this uh, explore this one in its kind of vanilla state, as it were. Now, anyway, this is called the uh, Things Made of Stuff update. Uh, so essentially, there's a, a new stuff system that allows you to build walls, furniture, and other structures out of arbitrary materials, as well as uh, clothing as well. Uh, new stats for calculating and reporting things from uh, skills, races, stuff, and other factors. Uh, multiple types of stone now, rather than just the same plain stone we've had uh, so far. There's sandstone, granite, marble, slate, and limestone. Uh, now, multiple mineable materials we have, so metal, silver, gold, and play steel. Uh, we'll see how those interact later on here as we continue going through that. Uh, I can now make clothing for arbitrary fat. Yeah, I already said that. Uh, rework damage deflection chance per damage type armor system. So some animals and mechanoids have natural uh, natural armor. Cough. Uh, new biome was added. The tropical rainforest. A choking disease infested jungle, which we will be checking out today. Should be quite interesting. Uh, disease rates are linked to biomes. Prosthetic limbs is really interesting. From simple to complex. You can get peg legs. Wooden dentures, simple prosthetics, or enhanced uh, bionic limbs and eyes. We will become the bionic people. All hail the Borg. All hail the Borg. Now, anyway. <laughs> I used to love the Borg, actually. I remember there was, uh, God, I can't remember what the RTS was called. But, man, I used to love playing the Borg. Of course, then my brother would play as, like, who was it, Species... Oh, I cannot remember their name right now, but my god, those that freaking species, man, they're bastards. They would just F up my Borg in, every, in no time. They're the most OP uh, race added into that game. That bastard always used it when I picked Borg. Ah, how dare he. Anyway, I digress. Back to this game. Uh, diseases have been added in. So we have the flu, plague, malaria, and sleeping sickness. Chronic conditions that are age-related. Uh, contracts, bad back, so on. Bunch of new traits, brawler, what is this? Prostophile? And more. Okay, that's weird. Uh, new trade system and interface, traders carry and buy any item, including prosthetics, neuro traders, organs, slaves, weapons, apparel, commodities. Uh, neuro trainers, matrix style instant training devices. Ooh, interesting. Lockable doors, melee weapons, which is really kind of nice. Finally, we have some melee weapons. So we can armor up our guys in some steel plate and then send them out there with a short sword and be like, Ah, charge! For new Sparta! Ah! Now, anyway. New animals, the cobra, monkey, camel, tortoise, boar, rhino. Uh, storyteller has been redesigned and balanced a little bit. Visitors can carry their own food now, which I mentioned earlier they were working on as what, so they will uh, not just walk in and take our food, apparently. Cough. Those bastards. Hopefully. Pile of other additions and fixes and all kinds of crap. Uh, and so on and so forth. So anyway, let's uh, create a new world. Let's create a fairly large world, because why not? Let me randomize the seat a couple times. And generate. For what? Whoops, actually I clicked by mistake. Whatever, let's go new colony. It'll pop up once I'm done here. So of course we have the three storytellers, which I saw last time there. You can select from them their difficulty. Faux base builder. She is set to a high challenge skill. She'll hit as hard as anyone. <laughs> oh, isn't that an adorable little critter? Alright, let's go with good old Cassandra. Uh, we'll probably just keep it on challenge for now, just because more than likely we're going to uh, die from some kind of viral disease here. What the hell? Apparently it's got my previous worlds on here. You know, let me delete all the worlds to make sure that it's not going to load one I don't already. There we go. Ooh, looks lovely. Sure, I'll take it. New colony. Continue. This one. Just to make sure I don't click any ones that's not compatible. 
Alright, let's find this tropical rainforest, shall we? Boreal Fortress, uh, Fortress. Fortress! No. Uh, Boreal Forest has not been implemented yet. We have Temperate Forest. Here we go, Tropical Rainforest. Let's go Tropical Rainforest with some mountains, I think. Yeah, Tropical Rainforest with some mountains. Let me make this a fairly large... Let me go large, actually. Area. And let's go ahead and launch there. Let me get something good here. Hmm. He cannot cook. He's pretty decent at everything else. I'm going to keep him. Settler is amazing at mining. Decent, pretty damn good at cooking. Incapable intellectual or crafting, so he's really good, actually. Pop Idol, really, really good at social or artistic. He cannot mine, though. He has, he has, I would really like to keep this one because that's amazing social, but he has too many negatives to him. So let me see if I can get somebody that has really good social, but isn't, you know, incapable of a lot of crap. Uh, he's really good at melee. If I want to go a Hulk on something, that'd be great. Here we go. 11 social, incapable of none, and he's got decent research as well. Good enough for me. Let's go ahead and start this up. Generating map. Generating brain slug. God damn. There we go. Three of you awaken your Krausley pod. Yada yada yada. We've already seen we already saw this a thousand times, so let's go ahead and continue. Oh wow, that's still a little loud. I didn't hear I even turned everything down and it's still way too bloody loud. We cut you down by half, good buddy. That's a little more than half. There we go. Alright, let's unforbid all this. Oh, that's better. Maybe a little quiet now actually. You raise it up a little bit for now. Hmm. I guess it was fine the way I had it. Alright, let's take a look at this place, shall we? It's not bad. It's not too bad. Nice big mountains all over the place here. Huh. No, that's interesting. I would say that I want to make my base in here, though. We have a nice kind of defensible area here. It's already marked off for us. Or blocked off for us, I should say. I could turn this into a nest of uh, sentry guns and just let them, you know, wail at any enemies that come into here. I could probably just, like, remove this section here and line up a bunch of them and let them just obliterate anyone that tries to invade us. Hello? Toggle categorized mode on the resource layout readout. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway. Let's go ahead and add some... Oh, hello. Here's our doors. Metal auto doors. Metal door. Interesting. Production. Power. So, of course, everything is quite basic now that we're uh, using just the default here again. Metal royal beds. Let me go ahead and get you some sleeping spots over here. While I have you boys dig. Actually, who are my... Well, I have to wait for them to land first. Let me just go ahead and get like a stockpile in here. And then we'll see about the rest of it here. Alright, stockpile. It's going to be a general everything in here stockpile. Right now. Storage. Yep, that should be good. Except for body parts. I don't need no damn body parts. I'll let them start off just hauling here. There we go. And I'll have them pick up the guns while we're at it once we're done here. Once we've moved all this stuff over into the stockpile. Let's see about categorized. Oh, nice. So we have resources. Like raw resources. Oh, I see how that works. Interesting. Hmm. Looks like we got some boars here. Some wild boars. To assign a medical operation like organ harvesting or prosthetics to inst uh, installation, open the colonist's health tab, then switch to the operations sub-tab. Ah, I see. 
So here we can see that they're, oh wow, this is really in-depth now. Consciousness is okay, sight, hearing, movement is all good, manipulation is good, eating, breathing. So we have no breathing issues right now. Metabolism. Wow, they're getting in-depth with this medical system. <whistles> Color me impressed right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to let them haul all this for a moment here, but let me... Let me double check each and every one of you guys. Just so I can make sure... So you got eight shooting, one, three. So you're the guy that gets this Lee Enfield once you're done that. I'll let him finish his job first. Let me actually speed this up here. Go ahead and equi equip that infield, good sir. All right. Go ahead and get that first girl. I appreciate it. Let's move those medical supplies and everything else we need in here. Then, uh, let's see here. Who has the best mining skill right now? 13, 4. That'd be this guy. So let me quickly have him just mine for now. So I got a lot of mining I need to do. I'll leave firefighting on for now, but uh, let me pause here for a second while I designate this out. Ooh, we also have, what is this? Metal ore. Oh, metal ore looks different now. Interesting. Hmm. I'll have him dig that later, though, because I need to start getting some other stuff done here quickly. Nope, that's not correct. Let's see, that'd be five by five, yep. So these will be their three rooms, I'll get that done immediately. And then we'll see about the rest here. We'll start getting all that metal dug out of there, we'll get a growing zone going over here. Let me actually add that right now. Or a couple of them actually. Okay, that one's going to be potatoes, as always. Always starts off with potatoes. Uh, ooh, Devil Strand. That's a unique one we can build here, it seems. I'm assuming at least that it's unique to this uh, area here. We'll go cotton, even though I don't really need a lot of cotton, I don't think. As a matter of fact, you know what, let me delete that. I want to make a much smaller growing zone for that. Growing cotton plants. Yay. Where are you going, homie? Wow, you're slow for some reason. So we have quite a few of these survival meals for now, but we're going to have to harvest a lot more here soon. And let me go ahead and have somebody chop down all these trees in here. See if I can harvest any of these plants. Lovely. So we got a few things to haul back to our base. We got a lot of metal all over the place here too, so we might actually survive quite a bit, quite longer than I thought. Claim. Claim neutral structures for the colony including ancient ruins and abandoned siege bases. Ooh. Are there any of these ancient ruins or abandoned siege stations? Well, there is this stuff right here, so I'm assuming this is part of an ancient ruin. But when it said ancient ruin, I figured it would mean something along the lines of, you know, like a big temple or something like that. Which, actually, it might mean... <laughs> to be honest, you never know. I don't see any, like, full-on structures, which is what I've been kind of waiting for, is to find, you know, rather than just, like, a single piece of wall or something crappy like that, to find full-on structures would be interesting. Possibly inhabited structures. Like, this is pretty close. That is pretty close to, like, an actual full structure. Let's go ahead and have all this be unforbidden. It's not too far from our base. Alright. Let me go ahead and swap over to manual priorities. That's number one for you. Let me take a look at all your priorities here, people. Um, I could probably set the rest of this up as well, but I'll do that later. Or you know what? I'll have him do a little bit of everything right now. Yes, even art. Even art. No, not really. Art is useless right now. But still. 
Okay, who is good at plant cutting and growing? Or who is the best? You are. Okay, growing is your top priority now. This guy is going to be stuck on hauling duty for a while. And our number one cook right now is probably, again, this person. So once they're done that, I'll have them start cooking. But let me make sure that they can still do a little bit of everything if they need to. Repairing when you need to. Mining. Plant cutting is also your top well. Let's go like this. There we go. That should be good. Sweet. Oh, we found some more metal there. Lovely. And lovely. Awaken, damn you, colonists. Noise. I love making them nice big rooms. If I can. Alright. Let me see here. I'm trying to think of where I want to move all this right now. Temporarily, I'll see it right here. Let me go ahead and add a dumping stockpile. We're not here because I'll, I need that area. Now that I think about it. So I'll add it right here. And I'll have all of this be hauled out of here. Get all that junk hauled out. He's haul he's on hauling duty right now, so he'll help haul all that stuff out of there. Okay. Let me go ahead and add... St no, it's not structures. Well, actually... Yes. Silver, metal, or wood. I'll say make a window. Ooh, I actually really like how that's... How you do that. Let's go... No, I'll say metal auto door. Let me rotate you if I can. Or not. Whatever. I'll just chuck them right there then. Alright, so. Furniture. Royal bed. Make it out of metal. Of course, the royal beds are always, you know, too damn big to put in here. In my 5 by 5s Ah, well. What can you do? They'll still be excellent freaking rooms once they're built. Oh, I know we need meal sources. I'm working on it. I'm a working on it. Let me actually go structure, wooden door, wooden door, and I'll put that right here. That way we'll uh, block out any of the freaking animals that are coming in here. This guy's doing a good job being our uh, mule right now. Looks like the second one here has been moved. Let me go to orders for a second. Have them haul all this out of here. Nice. Once, uh, once Hogle is done with this, let me actually go play for a second here. Go to overview for him. Once he's done messing around with this, I want his next priority to be construction for now. So he can start building up all this stuff that we have here. We have seven meals here still to last us a while. So once I get the chance, I'm going to start going for those pigs. I'm going to send... I believe that's him, too. Need defenses. I know. I know. No, no, no. It's uh, M. Mr. M has the uh, rifle and the best skill for that. So I'll have him uh, take care of business when he wakes up. Well, not now, but soon. He must take care of the business. But no. Anyway, once we get this cleared out, I'll start putting in some solar panels and get some batteries somewhere. Get a battery bank somewhere. Let's see here. We'll go like this. That'll be good. Structures. No, not structures. Power. Power! Power! No, anyway. That's terrible. Okay, let me pop a couple of these guys in place here. No.
There we go. That's much better. Maybe be able to put this one over here if I can later. But that should be good for now. Um, nom nom nom. All right, let's speed you boys up. I don't want to see no damn slack in here, damn it. Uh, military commissar from the village at the desert is visiting the colony. His name is Amy, or her name is Amy Blue Roper. Okay. You have an interesting name, madame. Town guard of village at the desert. I didn't even see a desert nearby. Damn, you were coming from a long way away, girl. Let's see here. Get some furniture. Get those royal beds placed in here. Go ahead and add... Sucks if I have to hit this every single time. Let's see if I just click off and hit P. No, I still have to select it. Uh, now a group of travelers are passing by. From there. Okay, let's go ahead and go power. Batteries. I want to rotate them. Power circuits in between these suckers and the battery. Alright. And after that's done, I'll have him start, uh... You know what? Let me... Before you get that, all that done, homie. Well, no, I'll let you finish what you're doing right there. Eat your rations. Prioritize working on the battery and the implements that lead to the battery. Oh, hello. A local boar has gone mad and will attack anyone at seas. Oh, I like that warning thing. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. That whole warning system that just popped up there. Oh, man, that was cool. It's like, red alert! Red alert! We are under attack! Set phasers to murder. Anyway, let me go ahead and... Oh, someone else is already prioritizing that. So you have to go ahead and prioritize the other one. Because I really want to get you guys in that freaking bed here. Is it just me or is this grass actually like slowing us down? Oh, what the hell? Psychotic rampage. Broken. Everyone is attacking it. Oh, Jesus. No M. Watch out. Back out, mate. Nailed him! Good shot, man. Good shot. That was a pro shot. Go ahead and finish these up, man. I want to get you guys in these beds tonight. Let's go ahead and get power, power, power cable. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Work on that, homie. Appreciate it, mate. Get that built if you can. Go ahead and go to bed. Ooh, looks like we got an eclipse. Wow, at perfect timing, just as I start getting some power. Well, shit. Looks like we have enough berries and a couple survivor packs to last us a little longer. We do have some survivor packs down here as well. So there's more that we can collect that will help us live a little bit longer. I can also have them come and collect this stuff right here. I really kind of want them to have that silver. So I think I'm going to have all three of them maybe do some hauling once I get this place completely finished up here. We have no trading capacity. I know, we are really bad right now in several areas. Okay, let's go ahead and deconstruct this. Go ahead and get that done, man. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Hold up. No, not that overview. What the hell am I doing? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Okay. Go ahead and start digging this out, man. Your priority is to dig. And then dig some more. Alright, when we get the chance and get the power up and running here, I'm going to chuck a 
decoration. So yeah, you can make everything out of everything, it seems. That's what it meant. Or maybe not everything, but still, you know what I mean. Furniture, that's what I was looking for. Get a standing lamp here. Go ahead and drag that power in. Okay, that should be good. Thank you, mate. Go ahead and grab all those meals and everything else. If you can. Oh, it's raining. Smashing. Actually, shouldn't that give me a new moodlet as well? In darkness. Keep it up. No, nope, keep building it. I want you to finish this for me here. So we can actually get some doors running here, get some lights and everything. Alright, sweet. Now we don't have the we don't have the lights on yet, but still, that's nice. How are we doing on this stuff here? It's like 87% growth. So it's getting there. It's getting there. 59%. We have the dead boar. Huh. There we go. Fallville. Sure, why not? Let's go with Fallville. I should have called it Deathville, but hey. <sighs> Alright. Let's go ahead and stretch this out here. And let's go... Orders. That's what I'm looking for, is orders. Haul things, and we'll get these out of here. They're kind of blocking our path right now. Lovely. Everything appears to be going quite well so far, for the moment. I'll let uh, Hoggy there go ahead and start constructing once again. Yay, we have light. Precious, precious light. Ah, oh god no, I was thinking, wait, it could be that we're low on trees is the reason why they weren't building that up, but oh god no, we have plenty. Let's go ahead and dig all this up, man. If it'll let us. Oh, we just closed ourselves up in here. Um, zone. No roof region. There we go. Need to be able to see here. What's up, low food? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We should be harvesting all this soon, I hope. And now that we have some power in here, once they dig this out, I can get my uh, cooking tables in place and start making some meals. Which we'll store back here. I'll create a nice little storage area once I clear all this out. Please get that for me. Thank you, homie. Alright, let's go ahead and get production. Get a cooking stove in here. Whoops, that's not what I intended to do. Orders, mine. And I'll set up a room back here. This is where we're going to store all our food. Alright, that's almost done. I can put the butcher's table out here for now. Prioritize, please. And let me go... Stockpile, stockpile. 
Where fort are thou, stockpile? Here we go. Storage. Let me store nothing for a moment. And then loco foods. Raw. Raw meat. Oh yeah. Hold up, M M M M M, buddy pal. What I have said. I want you to shoot this boar. Would you kindly? Thank you. And boom. I would expect this boar to be charging right now. Wow, that was a fail shot. That was a fail shot, sir. Yay, at long last the eclipse is ending. Now, bills. Add bill. Butcher creature. Prioritize, please. If you don't mind. Now, who was my cook? Ah, she was. Well, honestly, I don't think it matters for that. Well, no, because the only other guy I'd like to cook cannot work. Or cannot cook. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. She will have to cook for me. Sadly. One day. One day I'll get another cook. Oh, so we can also get the hides from that. Boar skin. So we got 12 boar skin. Here, let me... Storage. Disable corpses on that. I just wanted to remove all that crap that was in there. Now, before we do anything else, let me pause here. Let me disable M... Well, not disable, but remove M's hauling. In favor of... Son of a gun, he can't. Ah, that blows. Okay, once you're done mining, my friend, I would like you to do some cleaning. Because we gotta, we need to, you know, get this place nice and clean. So we aren't going to be, uh, walking around in no filth no more. Nice, I like how it auto-home regioned all this. We go ahead and expand on that. There we go. Uh, no, I didn't put a bill in here, did I? I did not. That's my own, that's my own fault. Actually, what am I doing? Configure. Do until I have... Six. Prioritize! Alright, I'll say meals as well. Just to have her store it somewhere close. Alright. There we go, I'll set that as a priority level 2. Even though I kind of want priority level 1. What the hell are you doing right now, girl? You just made a delicious meal. Are you seriously... You know what? Fine. Go ahead and run all that way and eat a survivor meal instead of the delicious meal you made. Wow, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Nope, no sleeping for you yet. You still got two more meals to make and then you can sleep. You may now sleep. Sleeping is now authorized. Looks like cotton's pretty much ready to go. The strawberry plants are ready to be chewed up and spit out here. So everything is looking good for the most part. Still need to get trade capacity up and running here. So let me go ahead and go... Uh, no roof region around here. Let's see here. Misc. Orbital trade beacon. Comms console. Whoops. Not what I intend to do, but hey. Let me have him pull this back a little bit. If you will. Wait, who was it that I was getting... I can't remember. Whatever, once he's done mining all this, then I'll have him construct the uh, last few things I really need. Nice, he's actually mining the right place too. Perfect. Okay, misc, comms console. Let's get that up there. Furniture. Go wood. Not a metal, wood. It's because I have so much of it. That I need to use it. Wood stool. 
Beautiful. Wait, where'd our homie go? I know that you're hauling just because I've told you to. But why why are we eating these packaged survival meals? No, it's forbidden. Forbidden! We have delicious simple meals made by our own chef here. I mean, what the hell are you guys smoking? Let me turn this down once again during this lovely uh, thunder shower here. As I think we all want to be able to hear something. Other than this ear raping noise. No. Yes, make, uh, get that comms console built. Go ahead and sleep. don't mind, I'd appreciate getting this built. Do that for me, homie. No, get that done. I want that done now. Just because that way people will actually come here and eat. Eh, almost finished. There we go. Now you can go back to that. And I'm just going to build a wall right here. I'm going to seal that off. Okay. Hmm. We'll add a, uh, well... Sure, I'll add a little corner lamp here. Was there anyone on here that it kept it kept telling me to go on the comms console, so let's see if there's anyone actually there. First though, who is my biggest fan? Let's see. Huh, weird. Guess I'd look up their character profile. Ah, it must be you. Yes, you have incredibly high social skills. I'll let you do your thing, then we'll go check out the comms console later. One second, let me prioritize cooking for a moment. There we go. I want to make sure that we have enough meals for these people. Eventually here, I'm going to make sure that cooking is her number one priority. There we go. But once uh, she gets all that planted, we'll be good to go. And he's almost done mining all this, so I can get him cleaning soon. That should be good. That should do us do a good job for us. All right, now we haven't gotten any diseases yet, which I guess is nice. At the path. Now what do we got here? Stone walls, which will not conduct electricity. So we'll have to make all our electrical outputs from here. Okay, he's almost done that. And now he's cleaning. Yay, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Beautiful. So now he's going to sweep up all this crap here. And make this place just spick and spun. Pardon me. So I want to get two stockpiles in here. Honestly, they don't have to be huge. Even that'll probably be good for the one. And yeah, I say I say they don't need to be huge, and I make a big one. What do we got here? Trade ship is passing by. They are an industrial trader. Well, let's see what industrial traders have now, shall we? I'll speed her up over here. Oh, lovely. This is an interesting new system. Hmm. Looks like, I'm assuming... Hmm. 
I'm trying to think where our colony is here, though. They need to actually drag to trade. Okay, drag where? I don't know, I see we don't really have... Well, we do have silver, but... No more to sell. Huh. AI Persona... Oh, damn, an AI Persona Core for 6750 Oh, I see the problem is. I see exactly what the problem is. One second. We don't have our trade beacon installed yet. That's the problem. Without that trade beacon, we are next to useless when it comes to trading. Alright, let's see what it says now. After I make a couple meals here quickly. I know we need defenses. We'll work on that in a minute. Alright, contact him up. So now I can see everything I have here is on the left. So we have Fallville right here. We can see the trade values for that. So I can sell the metal for 92 cents. Which is kind of lame. In that case, if they're going to put a dollar value on all this, should probably change up the uh, actual silver value we have here. Hmm... Let's see here. Let me trade them. That'll be good. 200. So it'll give me 185 silver for that. Actually, yeah, it's not too bad. They don't work on... I guess they kind of round up or something, maybe, with the cents. Hmm. Alright, good enough for me. Go ahead and sleep. Alright, so let me... Where is she? There she is. Let me reverse these a bit here. So cooking is now priority number one, followed by uh, planting and cutting. Let's go... Yeah, let's go wooden wall place that there. That'll keep our inner sanctum safe. He's doing a fabulous job cleaning this up. Cleaning up our mess. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, let's go metal auto door down here. I'm gonna go like this just so I can spread the power along here. Alright. I'll have to dig out this area here soon. Get some turrets in there. Nice! Looking good. Let's go ahead and get a metal auto door in there. For our security! Oh, they are an exotic goods trader. I am interested. I think I'm... Yeah. I was trading with the wrong trader for a second there. Here, exotic goods trader. So, we have a power armor helmet. Power Claw! Powerful hand replacement, uh, consisting of three deadly claws. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> we can be Wolverine! Yay! Who doesn't want to be Wolverine? I mean, come on. Everyone wants to be Wolverine. We also have a cooking neuro trainer. One use nanotech trainer device will in be inserted in the uh, orbit of the eye and releases nano machines into the subject's brain quickly improving their skills in a specific area huh I really like how this how this system works 
Mm. Now, it looks like one of the best things I can trade is cloth. Actually, surprisingly enough. Question is, do I get cloth directly from cotton plants? I think I do. There we go. I want to get those built ASAP once they wake up. Uh-oh. group of pirates are coming. They are attacking immediately. Oh, no! There's horrible monsters. Alright. Hmm. I want to mine that back. And I'm going to create some sandbags along the length here. To there. Although it's too late now to really get into it, but still. Um, let me see here. Security. Sandbags. Go ahead and get that done. If you don't mind, girl. I want to get us on that defensive line here in a moment. Where is this guy coming from? Oh, there he is. Powers! Dead powers! Okay, we got him. Now, problemo number one. I do not have a safe location for this guy right now. Unless I chuck him in there temporarily, which I think I will. Well, that or I can quickly make an area for these guys. No. I will temporarily put him in here. If you don't mind. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. Furniture. We'll add in a wooden bed here. And a small little table and stool. I need to get that bed built fast. Come on. Oh wow, he was able to get all that done in a single go. One second, let me designate this as a prisoner's bed. Set for prisoners. And if you don't mind, mate, since you're going that way anyway, please capture it. Please, uh, blah, 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 blah. please capture him for me. Thank you very much. I appreciate your hard work. Have a nice day. Now, where'd the other guy go? Where the hell did M go? Way the hell down here. Uh-oh. A wild boar has gone mad. He's mad, I say! Madder than the hatter! Aw, oh, the industrial trader has left. Shame, that. 
I'll have to wait till the guy gets chucked in there so I can assign his new treatment. Well, time to, time to whip out the medical experiments. <laughs> Mwah. Ah, tempting. Yeah, sure. Gets medicine. Friendly chat. And mademoiselle. If you don't mind doctoring him up for me, I'd appreciate it. Uh oh. Melee this boar for me. There we go. Since you're a little bit better at shooting... What the hell? I can capture that boar? What? That's weird. Okay, that is totally weird. The boar has a capture icon on it. Yeah, no. Finish it off. Kind of cool. If I could actually capture that boar and, you know, tame it, possibly create some kind of, like, a little breeding area, that would be great. That would be amazing. That's probably a bug, though, right now. I'm assuming. Wow, you're hurting, though, man. I'll have to create a medical area here as well. 53% chance of good quality treatment. Thank you, mademoiselle. I appreciate your awesome works. Go ahead and eat. Maybe give Powers a uh, good meal. Let's see how his thoughts are. He's always way above the loyalty threshold already. I think. Oh, no, never mind. Not way above. Just, just barely above. Hey, it's not my fault you're naked, buddy. It's not my damn fault you're naked. You're the one who came to, you know, here, stark raving mad to my freaking colony. Raven lunatic, naked. Balls to the walls with his pistol. But, uh, anyway. Ah. I think with that, I'm going to leave it here today. Uh, we've established a fairly good colony. Let me actually save this up here. As Fallville. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. And now it's time to raise Autumn Man, the mysterious alien child with extraordinary strength and flying powers. Ah, uh, no, anyway. <laughs> All right. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Let me actually click out of here for a second so I can actually hear a damn thing I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so next week we'll come back. We'll keep going with this since we're doing so well right now. We haven't gotten any diseases yet. Things seem to be going fairly well at the moment. So we'll keep going. We'll build up some defenses. We'll see how this goes. I am probably going to wait at least a week or two before I start, you know, searching and inputting mods into this. I may even just do it as I'm going. Just because I'm not sure if they need to do any, uh, you know, compatibility patches or stuff like that to make it so it'll work properly for this new version. Considering the saves aren't compatible, I would assume there's at least some minor tweaks they have to do to make the mods workable again. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have yourselves a great day, and I will catch you all next week with some more Rimworld. Peace out till then, homies.